Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gamers of all ages, welcome to the channel. My name is Silent Gamer, and today I'm going to show you guys how I grinded my Swedish tech tree up to jets in less than two days. Yes, you heard correctly, in less than two days. Bear in mind that I do have premium, so for your re like your results are going to vary by a lot. The rank one Swedish. Uh, airplanes are not that hard to grind I actually got the Lacobis uh, J8A for free from War Thunder when they introduced this uh, tech tree and yeah it helped me a little bit just to get over the uh, biplanes in the uh, rank 1 but this is what you want to get you want to get the J22A now I know that this plane looks like a uh, well a Falka Wolf basically but sadly it does not uh, roll like a Falka Wolf it is really heavy really robust extremely sturdy and the good thing about the Swedish they have a quite the selection of guns they have they uh, mo mostly rely on 13.2 uh, millimeter a can cannons on their uh, on their prop lines and they're good trust me guys when I say this they're extremely good once you get your uh, J22A uh, it's going to be at a battle rating of 2.3 I think it used to be at 1.7 or something like that 2.0 I don't remember now it's 2.3 and the thing still performs amazing this thing can single-handedly with patience of course wipe out an entire team you get a lot of ammo you get two 13.2 millimeter guns and two 8 millimeter guns at 2.3 that is huge moving on you can skip the J20 which is basically a uh, an RE2000 I believe I think yeah it's the RE2000 an Italian plane in the uh, Swedish tech tree not a lot of firepower but the thing can climb and the thing can go fast and can dive really fast once you just you just need to unlock it play a couple of games with it if it fits your playstyle please do continue with it i love having a lot of guns the swedish tech tree provides that for me but this plane is not for me Two 250 cals don't do that much of a damage at 2.0 in my opinion of course once you get the J20, you'll get the J22B. The J22B is basically an up. Well, I think I think I'm not sure. I think it is an upgrade or the uh, ground attacker version of the J22A, but I don't know. Maybe it is an upgrade. Maybe it is a ground attacker variant. I don't know. It has a slightly worse turn time and climb rate as the uh, first. Uh, uh, like the first uh, J22A that you get, but it's it's marginal. It's not that it's not that much, and that's because they changed the uh, eight millimeter gun, uh, the eight millimeter guns with the 13.2 guns. So basically, on this plane, you have four 13.2 millimeter guns at 2.7. Yes, at 2.7. Planes like the Spitfire. Mark 1A, Mark 1B, they have 7.7s. This thing has 13.2 millimeters and they are extremely devastating. This thing has a really good, really good uh, horizontal speed, uh, energy retention. Not that good. It's It can retain energy, but it doesn't retain energy that good compared to other planes. But still, this thing is extremely devastating, especially if you know how to do head-ons. I don't recommend doing head-ons all the time, but... Oh, when you know how to do them, this thing will wreck a lot of planes. Once you uh, you grind your J22B, you're going to find yourself moving on to the J21A, and this is the design that uh, the Swedish are going to use for well most of their uh, well for the rest of the uh, tech tree. I don't know why they do love this design. I know it makes it like the plane can turn right. Eh, I don't like it. The reason why is this plane does not do well 
at 700 kph. They are basically like this plane is basically like a yak. Once you hit that seven, you know, 700 kph mark, your wings are going to fall off immediately. However, like I said, this Swedish love their guns. This thing gets 20 millimeter A can cannon with 140 millimeter. I'm sorry, with 140 rounds and four 13.2 millimeters. So basically, for the Swedish, their secondary is the 13.2 millimeter, which is huge. This thing excels at head ons, this thing ex excels at energy fighting. It is a good plane. Not my type of plane, though. I really like fast planes. This plane can be fast in a horizontal, but not in a dive, which can, well, limit your uh, escape potential. Shall we say it like that? But nevertheless, this plane is amazing. It'll get the uh, almost the same upgrades or variants of it uh, in the uh, in the rank four. One is a ground attacker, one is an air superiority fighter, but in-game I believe they work the same, I don't know about real life, in-game they almost work the same. The These things, yeah, these things are quite deadly. Uh, on the ground variant version you'll get a uh, selection of bombs, not that big of a bomb, Actually, the uh, b biggest bomb in here is 600 kilograms, which could be useful for uh, ground pounding, especially uh, the uh, new Swedish tank tree is coming up, and it is going to be good for that. Uh, they also get uh, two rockets, unguided rockets, which are not that uh, deadly if you know if you don't know how to aim, but yeah, they're not like Tiny Tims as a as an example. The the Tiny Tims you just aim with that thing, and the, yeah, you just need to hit the uh, general direction of the tank and it will explode. This thing you need to be precise with it, and the rockets are far away from the center of the fuselage, which uh, which it will it will be hard to aim, and they don't have a good uh, trajectory. Uh, they don't have a good trajectory at all. Anyway, moving on. At uh, 4.3, you'll get a J26, which is uh, basically a uh, P51, American P51, that the uh, Swedish use. It's your normal, everyday P51. Uh, I believe it's uh, the the performance is similar. To the American P-51, the f uh, the first uh, P-51 Mustang that you get at 4.3, it I don't like it. It doesn't climb that good. The guns are deadly, of course. 50 cows, like six, uh, six of them, are extremely deadly. But at 4.3, you're going to be outclimbed by uh, basically everything. So with this thing, you need to just side climb, take your time, and then go engage the enemy. This plane requires a lot and a lot of patience. It is not a turn fighter at all. Moving on to jets. And to jets I got up to rank 5. And this where everything slows down. Like with the uh, previous uh, selection of planes. At rank 1 it's easy to get over. Rank 2 you just need to unlock 3 planes. Not like, uh, for example, let's see, uh, Italy, I did not uh, research that. So, in Italy you need 6 planes for uh, rank 2, 6 planes for rank 3, 6 planes for rank 4, so on and so forth. And the Swedish tech tree, it's still small and condensed. 3 planes for rank 2, 2 planes for rank 3, 3 planes for rank 4, and for rank 5 you just need 4 planes. And this is before the Draken is uh, coming out, the J35 Draken. And I recommend getting the A21RB moving to the uh, to the uh, J21RA and go down that line so you can get your Draken as efficiently and as fast as possible. And the reason that I chose the A21RB is because the gum pods. This thing gets a 
a gun pod that has eight eight millimeter guns and the gun pod always uh, also looks cool and nice it has a face on it but nevertheless this plane is good the only bad thing about this plane is the design itself that i talked about a little earlier uh as a jet this thing cannot surpass 730 740 kph per hour it will prep and you'll be an easy food for other planes because they can just outrun you for days and days and days and they have way way better energy retention than you and even though this is a 6.7 it's not going to be at its pr most of the times it's not going to be down tier most um, most of the times you 90 percent of the times you'll get up tier to face f80s aka P uh, p80s uh, you'll be uh, seeing Hortons, Mr. Schmidt 262s, Kika, things like that. Hell, even the Kika 6.7 is way, way better than this. But still, you still have that raw power. If you know how to perform head-ons correctly, you're going to get your kills. The Swedish Air Tree is a really fun tech tree. I enjoyed grinding it. It was easy to grind with with a uh, premium account. And a couple of uh, boosters. I always use the 10 and 15 percent boosters. They're nice. They don't. Uh, they they're not like one mission uh, boosters. So you you don't have to gamble. Like run one of these boosters if you have them. If you have premium, good for you. If you don't, the process will take you about three to four days, and it will be easy, easy, easy to grind. Today, I'll hopefully I'll be finishing my uh, my jets, hopefully, and preparation for the Draken. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please hit that subscribe button; it really, really helps.